championships aren't won on the final shot alone. It all starts with the commitment to stay healthy and on the field for your team. Q Collar, essential brain protection so athletes can chase greatness. I think the best way to kick things off is we go by position. I think we'll spend a lot of time on attack and midfield and defense, so let's start mostly with goalie. The 26 class is interesting. Meza Testa kind of set the standard. He played up at the 25s, but it did, what it led to was coaches being really comfortable with him, and they already had a really strong feel for his game. And so it led to everybody kind of being able to, A, put him on like a pedestal, so to speak, but also it let them make him the comparison point. So I know everybody's kind of got a couple guys that they want to start with. I have a few in the bolster, so I'll concede who wants to kick things off with some of the goalies that they were most impressed with this summer. To keep on with Mess Testa, like the thing that stands out to me for him is just you hear him right away. Like he is loud in that he's directing guys. You know he's got full confidence. He's directing the defense. And the, the show stopping saves he makes game in and game out, it's point blank, cross crease. He, he's got it all. So wanted to give him his flowers for and move the other guys for. Yeah, my thing with Mezzatessa is, like, he... I can't think of another goalie who keeps his hands as close together and is good. So that gives me a little bit of pause. But he definitely... I like the way that he... I like I like the arc that he steps. I like the position that he fills. Like, he definitely... You know, he's, he's a stocky guy, but he plays bigger. Um, for me, like, I would say the first goalie in this class that I really gravitated toward was Gabe James. Um, I think... It was vibes with him. Uh, I think he emanates energy and his team responds to it. But I think the guy that I ended up gravitating to the most over the course of the entire summer was Kieran Walsh. And I'll fully admit to the confirmation bias, when I watch Kieran Walsh, I mean, he just looks like Liam Etteman. He's 6'3", 6'4", he's got the Chaminade helmet. Um, he doesn't have the same like base in the way that the first time I saw Liam Etzman play, I remember this vividly. I was at um, an Under Armour underclass game at Towson, and I thought that Liam Etzman, the way that he played goalie with his feet, was as good as I had ever seen. And I don't know that there is an element of Walsh's game that stands out to me like that, um, but I think from a whole picture standpoint, uh, he was the guy that I came away the most impressed by. Yeah, when you talk about vibes, you know, I think of consistency when I think of vibes. And Nicholas Pagnata, Sweet Lax goalie, you know, he kind of gives me that, like, steady, solid as a rock vibe to him. He's got size. He's over six foot. He's a lefty. Always love a lefty goaltender. And just the way that he reacts to the ball, I saw him take a few bouncers that took this weird kind of hiccup on the ground. And the way that he can move his hands uh, was so impressive, especially for a big guy. He covers a lot of net and added with that reaction time. I really like him. Dan, I got a question for you. Why do you think... It seems like there's a goalie hotbed emerging out of Alabama. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I think you have this, like, iron sharpens iron element going on down there where there's, like, a lot of talent, but they feed off of each other and, um, you know, really tend to develop, like, with each other. And it's really cool. Ford Smith is who you're referring to in that. They all kind of have a similar element in the cage. Like, they're quick. Right? They have really quick hands. They're all usually a little bit smaller. Like It's not like a, a ton of huge guys, but they're all really athletic. Um, and so I think that that's kind of one element of it as well, is that like they all kind of have this like similar brand of ball that's like slightly manipulated to them. But um, I, again, I think Ford Smith is another guy in that class that kind of just like falls right into that pipeline. So besides Mazzatesta, like who do you like? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot in this class. I, I, is that true? Do you actually think this is a strong bully class? Uh, I think in every class, like, you end up with a similar... And I'll say the same thing for defenders later, is, like, coaches get to go and just, like, kind of find their guy in that class. Like, I think that that happens every year is, you know, sometimes there's more of an abundance of, like, it takes less time to go find your guy because there's more, um, you know, talent in the, the pool, so to speak. But I think in every class, like, maybe you just have to dig a little deeper. But at the end of the day, like, there's plenty of really, really good goalies out there. So I, I, my reaction is that I felt, you know, we, we just went through this in selecting the senior All-America game. You know, I, I remember early in the process really liking three, four goalies who ended up being kind of 
that 10 to 15 range in terms of like where we ended up breaking. And I already feel like in the 27s, I know who the top three or four goalies are. And I still feel like there's more mystery in this group. Um, I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means relative to how hard coaches are going to go after one particular individual. And I think it's going to be super fascinating, especially because with goalies and faceoff guys, we always see a run in the market, right? Where like when the first guy commits, then everybody else feels the need to commit afterwards. And it's also partly on the coach's side as well, where, you know, if you're Duke, Carolina, Virginia, and you're in the mix for one guy, and then he goes to one of your opponents, then all of a sudden, like you feel compelled to go make something happen somewhere else. And just to quickly throw a, a few more names out there of guys that I really like, uh, Cam Lydon out of New Canaan High School, really, really impressed with him. Had a good spring that led right into another good summer. Blake O'Callaghan, uh, John Jay High School, does his club ball with prime time, another really, really impressive uh, goalie that for me kind of jumped onto the radar at best in class and it's an early in the summer. And it's interesting how that element of things kind of plays out is, you know, we mentioned that with Mezzatesta is like, if you get a good evaluation on a guy early in the summer, like you constantly are now comparing other goalies to that one. And over the course of the summer, I keep coming back to, you know, I think I like Blake more than, you know, X, right, so on and so forth. I'll kick to Kevin, though, because I know this is one that you and I have talked about several times, uh, and that's Ryan Inzer. Uh, you saw him in the spring. Again, another guy that is kind of just like moving from having a really solid spring into having another really solid summer here. What do you like about Ryan Enzo? Yeah, the word just comes to mind. It's, he's just steady. Right? You watch him at the St. John's at the, the high school level, and he, he makes the saves he's supposed to, and he'll, he'll steal some as well. Uh, Enzo's always there, good, solid presence in that um, guy on the on the big board who I, I kind of compare him to, who I saw signed at our IL Summer Cup in the 25th division was Dylan Penn. Uh, for Calvary Lacrosse Club, his brother heading the the Hobart, uh, Brandon, in the the twenty five age group, he's going to take another year and, and figure things out in the in, at Richfield. So, just guys like that are just like solid righties, makes those saves you want to make them see them make, and and they're good in the the clearing game. One guy who's not up there that I want to mention is Grayson Enrique from Calvert All. Uh, he first jumped out to me at AHSLS, and then I saw him again right after the dead period at National All-Star. He's one of the more unique goalies. Pet peeve. He's <laughs> one of the unique goalies that I've evaluated re recently just because he's so small, but he's so explosive, and he explodes through the ball. And that's one of the things that really uh, I don't know, mitigates my concern about a small goalie is that if you can cover the corners of the goal, um, especially not just you just get there, but you actually get beyond there, I think that... Um, it speaks to it, and and you don't necessarily want to bet on explosiveness because it feels either inconsistent or unsustainable. But I saw him enough, and it was consistent enough that I don't know. I mean, he's somebody that I would want to bet on just based on, on what I came away from watching this game with. In this game, impacts aren't just expected; they're celebrated. That's why premier players choose Q Collar, the proven shield for their brains. Be ready for the clash. Keep your head protected and in the game.